Guardian of Silence Abner, The Angel's Gift Chapter 1, The Unwanted Turn Willie Peterson was an ordinary nine-year-old boy, full of all the vim and vigor that came with the age. His laughter, the pure, uninhibited sound of childhood, could often be heard echoing through the red-brick neighborhoods of Sunshine Springs, a small town tucked into the heart of America. Before the accident, Willie was a whirlwind of action and energy. He was always at the center of whatever was happening in town, whether it was a pickup game of soccer on the green expanses of the local park or a thrilling bicycle race down Baker's Hill. His was a laughter-filled, joyous existence, and he relished every moment of it. Then came that ill-fated day, a day that started as typically as any other. The golden sun was shining brightly in the cloudless blue sky, and the air was filled with the harmonious chirping of birds. The smell of pancakes, Willie's favorite, wafted through the Peterson's kitchen, making his mouth water in anticipation. But, all that was to change. Willie and his parents were heading out for a day of fun and frolic at the annual Sunshine Springs Fair. He was sitting in the back seat, engrossed in a world of imagination with his favorite action figures. Suddenly, the world flipped upside down. A heavy truck, driven by a man who had drifted to sleep, plowed into their car with terrifying force. The horrific accident turned their world into a tornado of chaos and fear. When the dust settled, the vibrant life Willie knew was forever changed. He survived, but he was confined to a wheelchair, his lively legs now unable to carry him on his adventures. But even more devastating was the deafening silence that enveloped him. The world, once filled with laughter, birdsong, and loving words, was now eerily quiet. Willie was trapped in a silent, unyielding nightmare, unable to hear the comforting sounds he once took for granted. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Willie grappled with his new reality, every day a struggle against frustration and desolation. The nights were the hardest, as he lay awake in his bed, staring at the ceiling, trapped in his thoughts. Every night, he would offer a silent prayer to God. With small hands that had learned to express themselves in sign language, he conveyed his pleas, his desires, and his fears to the heavens. One evening, under the soft glow of his nightlight, Willie made a particularly heartfelt prayer. God, I need a friend, he signed, his small hands shaking slightly. Someone who understands, someone who can help me through this. His bright blue eyes filled with unshed tears, but he held them back, swallowed his sobs, and clung to a fragile strand of hope. Somewhere out there in the universe, his plea was heard, and the wheels of a divine plan began to turn. The answer to his prayer was on its way, a miracle about to trot into his life on four tiny paws. This miracle would come in the most unexpected way a puppy named Little Abner. Chapter 2 The Mysterious Gift On a clear, sunlit day, while Willie was at school, a mysterious figure approached the premises. This man was shabbily dressed, appearing to be homeless. His face was etched with lines of hardship, but his eyes gleamed with an uncanny kindness. No one knew it, but he was far more than he appeared to be an angel sent by God disguised in humble attire. In his hands, he held a small bundle of fur a tiny miniature pincher puppy. The little creature was full of boundless energy, its small eyes filled with a kind of wisdom that seemed too profound for such a young life. As children played and laughed in the distance, the man carefully approached Willie's wheelchair, parked in the hallway during his physical therapy session. 
He gently unzipped the backpack hanging on the back of the chair and placed the little puppy inside, securing it comfortably amid Willie's books and lunchbox. With a final pat and a whisper that sounded like a prayer, the man closed the bag and disappeared as quietly as he had come, leaving behind an unusual gift for an unsuspecting boy. This was not merely a puppy, it was a companion, a friend, and a beacon of hope for Willie. This creature would serve as his guide, his protector, and a key to rekindle the joy that had been dimmed by his accident. Later that day, as school came to an end, Willie made his way home, unaware of the precious cargo in his backpack. Upon reaching his room, he unzipped his bag to retrieve his homework, but instead, a small snout peeked out, followed by two bright, curious eyes. Willie jumped in surprise, then curiosity washed over his face. He carefully reached in and pulled out the tiniest, most adorable puppy he had ever seen. The puppy wiggled excitedly in his hands, and its little tail wagged like a miniature flag in the wind. It licked Willie's fingers, and despite the silence, Willie could feel the puppy's excited panting through the vibrations in its tiny body. A smile spread across Willie's face the first genuine smile since the accident. It was in this moment he knew what he would name his new friend, Little Abner, a name filled with promise and hope. Chapter 3 The Unusual Bond In the weeks that followed little Abner's arrival, Willie's life was imbued with a joy and companionship that he hadn't experienced since before the accident. The tiny miniature pincher, with his boundless energy and striking intelligence, seemed to understand and respond to Willie's needs with an uncanny intuition. Then came an unusual day that uncovered little Abner's extraordinary abilities. Willie was in his room, engrossed in his schoolwork, with little Abner comfortably lounging by his side. His parents were busied with dinner preparations in the kitchen. Amidst the rush, they hadn't noticed that they had left the front door ajar. Suddenly, little Abner sprang up from his relaxed position, his small body stiff and alert. His tiny ears were perked up and he started darting his eyes between Willie and the direction of the open door. This bizarre behavior grabbed Willie's attention, pulling him away from his schoolwork. Before Willie could fathom what was happening, little Abner leaped onto his lap, making emphatic gestures with his paws. This strange behavior was new, it was as if Abner was trying to communicate something urgent. His movements pointed towards the door and then back to Willie, repeating this sequence with a sense of urgency. Curious, Willie looked towards the door. To his surprise, he saw a figure entering the apartment a delivery man who had quietly walked in, mistakenly thinking that the open door signaled that he could enter. Willie quickly signed to his parents about the stranger. They promptly rushed to the door to find the delivery man, who was taken aback and apologized for the intrusion explaining that he had knocked without receiving an answer. With the situation resolved, Willie turned his attention back to little Abner, who had resumed his restful position, seemingly satisfied. It was then that Willie realized little Abner was not just any dog. He had a unique ability to sense changes in his environment and communicate these to Willie through a specific set of gestures, effectively compensating for Willie's inability to hear. From that day on, Willie and little Abner formed an inseparable duo, their bond deepening with each shared experience. Willie now had a loyal friend who could alert him of potential dangers, help him navigate his challenging life, and bring back a sense of joy and normalcy that he had been yearning for. Chapter 4 Life with Little Abner In the months that followed, Willie and little Abner embarked on a journey of friendship, adventure, and discovery. Life was no longer a dull routine for Willie, instead, each day brought a new story, a new adventure with little Abner at his side. One day, while playing catch in the park, Willie's ball rolled onto the road. Unable to fetch it himself, he pointed it out to little Abner, who sprinted off, his small form a blur against the lush green grass. 
Just as Abner reached the ball, a car turned the corner at speed. Willie's heart stopped, but Abner, with impressive agility and quickness, snatched up the ball and dodged the oncoming vehicle with seconds to spare. Back in Willie's lap, Abner dropped the ball, his eyes gleaming with satisfaction, as if aware of his incredible feat. On another occasion, during a particularly challenging math homework assignment, Willie was struggling. Little Abner watched him from the bed, his eyes seeming to understand Willie's frustration. Out of the blue, he hopped onto the desk and walked over the worksheet. Much to Willie's surprise, Abner tapped his paw onto the page, pointing to the correct operations Willie needed to use. Whether a lucky guess or a divine intervention, it sure seemed like Abner had just helped him solve the problem. One of their favorite pastimes was watching old silent films. Willie could follow these without needing to hear, and little Abner seemed to enjoy the flickering images. One night, as they were engrossed in a Charlie Chaplin classic, the power went out unexpectedly, plunging the house into darkness. Willie was startled, but before he could even react, little Abner bounded off his lap and returned seconds later, dragging a flashlight in his mouth. Life with little Abner was full of such surprises and incredible moments. The tiny miniature pincher, with his unexplained abilities, made every day exciting and brought a new level of joy and comfort to Willie's life. Their bond was unlike any other a boy with an indomitable spirit and a small dog with the heart of a lion. Together, they were ready to face whatever life threw at them. Chapter 5 The Trip to the Mall Willie's parents had recently gifted him a new motorized wheelchair. This new chair represented a whole new level of freedom for Willie. He could now navigate more independently and participate in activities that were previously challenging. Eager to test out his new wheels, Willie and little Abner decided to venture to the local mall for the first time since the accident. The mall was a sensory feast bright colors, delicious aromas from the food court, and a bustling crowd of shoppers. Willie relished this sense of normalcy, of being part of the world again. Little Abner was nestled securely in Willie's lap, his sharp eyes scanning their surroundings with curiosity. As they navigated through the bustling complex, a particular salesman in the mall caught sight of Willie. This man was known for his crafty schemes, often taking advantage of unsuspecting customers with overpriced, low-quality items. Spotting Willie, he saw an easy target. With a devious grin, he approached Willie, trying to sell him an expensive piece of useless tech gadgetry. As he drew closer, his glib talk filling the air, little Abner tensed. Willie sensed his discomfort, but he couldn't quite grasp why. Before Willie could react, little Abner did something he had never done before. He leaped down from Willie's lap, marched over to the salesman, and to everyone's shock, he lifted his leg and peed the man's shiny shoes. The mall echoed with gasps, and a few chuckles broke out from the bystanders. The salesman recoiled in surprise and disgust, momentarily forgetting his sales pitch. He hurriedly excused himself, leaving Willie with an unexpected respite from his pestering. Embarrassed yet amused, Willie quickly apologized to the onlookers, who seemed to find the incident more entertaining than offensive. Despite the scene, there was an underlying sense of relief. Little Abner had, in his unique way, protected Willie from a potential scam. It was clear to Willie then that little Abner was not just his pet, but also his guardian angel in disguise. This incident only served to strengthen the extraordinary bond between Willie and little Abner. Their lives were entwined in the most unexpected of ways, and with each passing day, they were learning to navigate the world together one adventure at a time. Chapter 6 The Pie Contest Mishap One of the most cherished annual events in their small town was the Community Pie Contest. Willie's mother, renowned for her blue-ribbon apple pie, 
was a recurring participant. This year, Willie and little Abner decided to tag along to the fairgrounds for a change of scenery. As they reached the fair, the sweet and enticing aroma of freshly baked pies filled the air. Willie could see the proud bakers standing next to their creations, all hoping to win the coveted blue ribbon. With little Abner in his lap, Willie navigated his motorized wheelchair through the throng, their excitement growing. While Willie's mother was engaged in friendly banter with the other participants, Willie and little Abner roamed around the fair. They watched the sack race, laughed at the clown's antics, and even took part in a dart game. However, the highlight of the day was yet to come. It was almost time for the pie tasting, and everyone gathered around the long table filled with an array of beautiful pies. As the judge, Mrs. Applewood, approached Willie's mother's pie, little Abner showed an unusual interest. He sniffed the air and wiggled excitedly. Seizing a moment when everyone's attention was on Mrs. Applewood, little Abner deftly jumped off Willie's lap. He scampered toward the pie table, a mischievous glint in his eyes. Before Willie could stop him, little Abner made a small leap and managed to grab a mouthful of what was indeed Willie's mother's apple pie. Gasps rang out from the crowd, followed by peals of laughter. Willie's mother turned a light shade of red, clearly embarrassed yet unable to suppress a chuckle. Willie quickly rushed forward, picking up the pie-loving culprit who looked quite pleased with his little adventure. Guess little Abner couldn't resist the best pie in town. Willie's father joked, lightening the mood as everyone around joined in the laughter. Despite the mishap, Willie's mother won the contest, with Mrs. Applewood declaring that any pie that could make a dog defy his master must indeed be a prize winner. That day, the town had a new hero a little miniature pincher with an oversized love for apple pie. The story of little Abner's pie escapade became a favorite anecdote, adding a fresh layer of joy and humor to the bond that Willie and little Abner shared. Chapter 7 The Lost and Found Life with little Abner was not always a smooth sail. As much as Abner was Willie's guardian angel, he was also a mischievous little dog with his own share of quirks. One of those quirks was his inexplicable love for chewing on things especially Willie's cell phone charging cable. No matter how many times Willie replaced it, Abner always managed to find and chew the new one. One day, Willie came home from school to find his phone dead and the charging cable chewed to bits. In the past, he had been able to shrug off these incidents, but today was different. He had been eagerly awaiting a message from his teacher about an important school project. His frustration boiled over, and he reacted in a way he would soon regret. He picked up the ruined cable and, in a moment of anger, threw it at little Abner. The cable hit Abner, causing the small dog to yelp in surprise and fear. Instantly, Willie regretted his action. He reached out to apologize, but Abner, startled and hurt, scampered away through the open front door. Seeing Abner run away was a shock to Willie. The house felt empty and unusually quiet without the little dog. His heart pounded in his chest as he realized the extent of his mistake. He tried to follow Abner, but his wheelchair was not fast enough. Willie's parents joined the search when they came home and found Willie distressed. Hours turned into a night, and there was still no sign of little Abner. Willie was terrified. The thought of his best friend, his guardian angel, out there alone and scared because of his action was unbearable. His tears fell unabated as he prayed for Abner's safe return. The following morning, as Willie's parents were about to resume the search, they received a call from a local vet. A small dog matching Abner's description had been brought in the previous night. He had been hit by a car and was now in stable condition. 
The relief was palpable, but the guilt in Willie's heart deepened. As soon as they reached the vet's clinic, Willie rushed to Abner's side. The tiny dog lay there, bandaged and tired, but alive. Willie gently stroked his soft fur, his tears falling onto the small body. I'm so sorry, Abner, Willie whispered, his voice choked with emotion. I shouldn't have thrown that cable. Please forgive me. As if understanding Willie's heartfelt apology, Abner slowly lifted his head. His dark eyes met Willie's, and he gave a weak but comforting wag of his tiny docked tail. He then extended his tongue and licked the salty tears off Willie's face, a sure sign of his forgiveness. That day marked a significant turning point in Willie's relationship with little Abner. It wasn't just about the amazing adventures anymore, it was about understanding and respecting each other's feelings, about apologizing and forgiving. Their bond had been tested and had come out stronger. Willie learned a vital lesson in empathy and responsibility, one he would carry for the rest of his life. Chapter 8 Road Trips and Revelations The incident with Abner served as a wake-up call for Willie, leading to a renewed commitment to cherish their bond. It also sparked a new tradition for the Peterson family cross-country trips in their motorhome. With Willie and little Abner at the heart of these adventures, they embarked on a journey that took them through the diverse landscapes of the United States. Their first significant destination was the majestic Grand Canyon in Arizona. The sheer size and beauty of the natural wonder left Willie breathless. As he stared at the vast expanse, he felt a sense of awe and peace wash over him. Little Abner, always perceptive, snuggled closer to him, sensing his tranquility. Together, they watched the sun dip below the canyon's edge, the sky painting a picturesque silhouette against the dramatic backdrop. From Arizona, they drove north to Yellowstone National Park. Willie was thrilled by the diverse wildlife and geothermal features that the park boasted. Little Abner seemed equally fascinated by the new environment, his eyes wide as he watched geysers erupt and bison graze. During their stay, they had a close encounter with a playful fox. Seeing little Abner's curious reaction to the creature was an amusement that left Willie and his parents laughing for days. Next, they found themselves traversing the scenic coastal highway of California. The Pacific Coast Highway, with its stunning ocean views and intriguing landmarks, was a feast for the eyes. When they reached the iconic Bixby Bridge, Willie and little Abner sat by the cliff edge, gazing out at the sprawling blue ocean. The rhythm of the crashing waves was mesmerizing, a harmony that they felt deep within. Their final major stop was in New York City. The vibrant city with its towering skyscrapers and bustling streets was a stark contrast to their quiet life back home. Exploring Central Park, Times Square, and even witnessing a Broadway show were experiences Willie treasured. Little Abner seemed to adjust quickly to the city's hustle and bustle, always alert and ready to protect Willie from any potential dangers. These adventures across the country brought Willie and little Abner even closer. The shared experiences, the sights and sounds, the laughter, and even the occasional mishaps, all added to the tapestry of their unique bond. As they journeyed together, they discovered not just the beauty of their country but also the unshakable strength of their friendship. Chapter 9 A New Path Years swiftly passed, and life's inexorable flow brought changes both big and small. Willie, now a young man of 18, was about to embark on a new chapter of his life. He had been accepted into a prestigious college renowned for its exceptional programs for deaf students. It was a proud moment for Willie and his family, yet one tinged with bittersweet emotions. The college was several states away, and to Willie's dismay, the student housing did not allow pets. Little Abner, now an old dog, had also changed. 
His once lively eyes were clouded with age, and his spry movements had been replaced by a slower, more cautious gait. The vet had diagnosed him with arthritis, a common ailment in older dogs, and prescribed medication to manage the pain. The day Willie had to leave for college was a somber one. He knelt beside little Abner, gently stroking his soft fur. They had been through so much together, experienced countless adventures, and grown up side by side. The thought of leaving his loyal friend was heart-wrenching. I'll miss you, Abner, Willie signed, tears welling in his eyes. The old dog looked up at him, his tail giving a weak wag. It was as if he understood Willie's words and the depth of emotion behind them. Willie's parents assured him they would take good care of little Abner. They promised to keep Willie updated with photos and videos, and, with the aid of video calls, Willie could interact with Abner. Despite the assurances, Willie felt a knot in his stomach as he waved goodbye to his home, his parents, and his dearest friend. But he also knew this was an essential step for him, a path that would lead him towards personal growth and a promising future. His last image as the car pulled away was of little Abner standing by the door, watching him. Though Willie was moving away, the bond he shared with little Abner would never diminish. They had shared a profound journey together, one that Willie would always cherish, no matter where his life led him. Chapter 10 The Final Goodbye Life at college was a whirlwind for Willie, filled with new people, lessons, and experiences. Yet, every day, his thoughts would wander back home, back to his cherished companion, little Abner. His parents kept him updated about Abner's condition. Each video call was both a joy and a pang, as Willie could see the gradual decline in Abner's health. Back at home, little Abner held steadfast to a ritual. Every night, he would retire to Willie's room and curl up on his bed, as if in wait for his friend to return. As the months wore on, the effort to climb into the bed became too much for the old dog. Willie's father started helping Abner into the bed, cradling the dog with a gentleness that conveyed understanding and love. One day, a call from home brought the world crashing down around Willie. Little Abner had passed away in his sleep. The news hit Willie like a punch to the gut. Even though he had known it was inevitable given Abner's age and health, the reality of the loss was overwhelming. His friend, his guardian angel, was gone. In the days that followed, Willie found solace in his memories of Abner. Every adventure, every laughter, every shared silence, it all seemed like a gift now, a treasure to hold on to. The pain was sharp, but the sweetness of their shared past helped soften the blow. Willie's mother, in an effort to provide some comfort, penned a poem to commemorate Abner's life. The poem, she explained, was inspired by the belief that Abner had returned to the angel who had brought him into their lives. It read, An angel dropped a seed of love in a little boy's bag. A gift from the heavens above, not just any rag. It grew to be a loyal friend, a protector in disguise. With a spirit that wouldn't end, and the wisest of eyes. Now you're back to where you're from, in the arms of an angel's grace, but your memories will hum, in our hearts, your irreplaceable space. Through trials and jubilation, through silence and the din, you were our foundation, our love from within. Fly high, dear Abner, under the celestial dome. In the heaven's corner, you've found your home. And in the star's gentle shimmer, in the night's tender sweep. We'll remember you, 
our glimmer as we drift to sleep. Life would move on, but the absence of little Abner would always be felt. Willie would carry the memories of his friend and their adventures in his heart, a comforting balm for his loss. And as he stared at the stars, he knew somewhere out there, his loyal friend was watching over him, just like he always had. Visit littletruckerkennel.com for your own guardian angel. That's littletruckerkennel.com. Copyright 2023 David Sardi.